Madam President, Toastmaster, members, guests, I did not say he beats his wife. But before I go into that, I want to tell you a little story about what happened to me recently over at the Van Nuys Library. You know where the Van Nuys Library is over by the courthouse? Well, I'm in there trying to get, look for some research, pick up a book, when in walks this young lady who President Obama would probably say was eye candy, walks in, she's dressed very, very, very interesting to say the least. Very attractive woman, a 10 or an 11 on somebody's scale. <laughs> She walks in, everybody turns and looks at her, because she's that attractive. She walks over to the librarian, and in a real loud voice says, I'd like to have a cheeseburger, french fries, and a Coke. Oh, everybody turns and looks and says, what's going on with this woman, you know? She looked real attractive, but somehow there's something else missing. <laughs> and the librarian turns around and, and, and she kind of like leans over the counter a little bit to get a little closer. And she says, this is a library. <laughs> so the young lady now, she looks around and she sees people sitting, reading, and people gathering books from the shelves. And she looks around the place. She sees where she is, and she gets closer to the counter, leans real close, and goes, can I have a cheeseburger, <laughs> french fries, <laughs> OK, so now, the reason why I tell that story is because it all depends on how you say something or how you said it. See, in this particular case, she thought that in order to get the cheeseburger, she had to whisper because she was in a library. Now, when we look at this, I did not say he beats his wife. Those are words. And studies have been done that show that basically words only present 8% of the meaning that you get when you hear them. Another 20 to 30 percent is on how you said it. The remaining 70 percent is on how you look when you say it. So you see, if I was to say, I did not say he beats his wife, well, that would imply that I did not say it. Maybe he said it, but not me. Now, if I said, I did not say, he beats his wife, then that would imply that I might have been thinking it, but I didn't say it. If I said, I didn't say he beats his wife, that would imply that he lets his neighbor do it, but he doesn't necessarily do it. If I said, I didn't say he beats his wife, well, he mentally abuses her to hell, but he doesn't touch her at all. If I said he did not beat his wife, well, he does a pretty good job on his neighbor's wife, <laughs> but not his. And finally, if I said I didn't, I didn't say he beats his wife, well, he kicks the dog, he beats up the cats, hits his kids, but he doesn't touch the wife. So you see, how I say something is going to present meaning to how it was said. So in many cases, you often see where maybe a politician or a celebrity says something. And then the media turns around and says, well, he said this. And he's, well, no, I didn't say that. I, I meant this. Well, you might have meant this, but if you said it so that this was the impression, then that's how they heard it. So when we give a speech, 
we not only have to be careful of the words we say, but how we say the words. So that the meaning of what we want said also has to be there. Now, in addition, you'll notice that I didn't say he beats his wife. I didn't say he beats his wife. Now I'm thinking, right? <laughs> so now my body gestures have to also have an effect on what I want the audience to really get out of my message. So when you're speaking, be careful on how you say it. Because you may say something one way when you meant it another. Mr. Toastman.